ratio between the large pulley and the motor pulley that will eventually sit on there because at the moment it's over here that relationship is 6 to 1 so there's no damage there when we're testing this out um, and I've marked up the sprocket make it a little easier to see what's happening and the idea is to see whether it will work at a reasonable speed um, without any nasty knocking noises or other things happening. That would suggest if it does that we're okay to carry on and that the thing will eventually work as a projector at 16 frames per second at least. So that's the motor pulley, not yet on the motor at the moment. And then that pulley behind the mechanism is the large drive pulley and you see I've got some string on there I've just worked out the ratio between that pulley and the motor pulley. If I do some sums, bearing in mind that the intermittent sprocket, which I've marked up there so you can see it turning, has 16 teeth. And there are four teeth, if you like, to a frame of film. So that turns one quarter turn per frame. And that's exactly what happens if you turn the big pulley, that sprocket will turn one quarter of a turn. And I'm going to try and show you that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. So we're getting our quarter turn of the sprocket or one frame for single turn of the large pulley. So the motor has to turn 6 times 16 per second. Now 5760 revs per minute seems fast to me. Um, on the other hand that electric drill that I used was only running about 3,000 and the projector wasn't up to speed. So this could all make sense. I'm getting around 41 ohms. I'm on the 200 ohm range, so yeah, that's 41 ohms. I have no idea whether that makes any sense. It does mean that there's continuity, so it seems to, it's likely to be okay. Now you remember I was considering <coughs> whether to just plug this in and see what happens, and then I remembered that the case, the projector case, is lined with asbestos and in poor condition. So the chances are there are lots of little flakes of asbestos in there that I will send whirring into my lungs and the workshop if I just switch it on, so I think I am going to take it to bits first. There was a niggling little voice in my head telling me that if I didn't I'd regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. I didn't think I had any little sockets for these, but I, today I found a socket set that I didn't even know I had, and one of them fits. So next thing, take this apart and clean it which is what I'm about to do now. So here we go. Oh. I'll do some more of that. 